Hey there, I'm Hans Ray and I'm in Livigno at the Carosello 3000 mountain park in Italy. And I'm going to show you today how to ride switchbacks. There's all kinds of different switchbacks, so naturally there's all kinds of different techniques how to tackle them best or fastest or safest. So um, I will show you a few different ways uh, today and then uh, we take it from there. I'm going to show you everything on an e-bike, even though um, it's the same exact thing on a regular mountain bike. So the first turn right here, I will demonstrate how you can just ride the bike through the turn without any hopping or moving your wheels. The key is to take your time, be patient, you know, don't rush it. Run your front wheel slightly on the outside of the turn, not too far outside. So that way your back wheel runs right inside here. Have your weight slightly back behind your seat, put your seat down and take your time. Don't rush it until you're all the way through. Um, let me show you. You approach the turn, you go a little bit wide with the front wheel, turn around and now you're through. On your front wheel on the outside, your weight behind the seat, lean the bike to the inside but the body to the outside. Pedals are horizontal and roll through. The nose wheelie turn um, is kind of the show-off turn. It's a really cool turn if you can do it. It takes a little bit of practice. It's a little bit harder because you're literally turning while on your front wheel and you keep rolling. So you use your front brake to initially lock the uh, wheel up so you can actually get in the nose wheelie. But then you use your feet and your hip to push the bike in, in the back around uh, while you steer the front end through the turn. So um, it's a really cool turn that works especially good on a turn like this one right here where you have a little downhill slope and you can just like swing the bike around. And there's the nose wheelie turn. Naturally, you will notice that you have a good side and a bad side. That means some, some people are better at left turns and others at right turns. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, choose which direction the trail goes. So you, ha you have to know both sides and both techniques, basically. I One of the switchback techniques um, involves actually a different pedal position. Instead of having your cranks horizontal, you will have your cranks kind of vertical but make sure that always your inside foot is the one that's up. So that way you don't hit any rocks when you lean or, and that way you can use that outside foot of really pushing the bike into the ground and making it like turn like on rails. That way you get better traction and you can uh, carry some more speed through the turn. As you see, you come into the turn with your weight behind the seat. Your pedal, your inside pedal is up, your outside pedal down. And you roll through the turn while applying pressure on that outside foot that presses the wheels into the ground and gives it this kind of a railing effect. When it gets really alpine on these alpine hiking trails that have really tight switchbacks that weren't really made for bike riders, sometimes you have to use a technique where you actually have to hop your wheels around. That can involve the front wheel and the rear wheel. Check it out, you ride your bike, your front wheel into the turn, your cranks are horizontal again, with your favorite foot forward obviously and then when you have a when you roll halfway through the turn block your front brake on the trail you come actually to a standstill for a second you lift your rear wheel around you lift your front wheel back into the track and keep riding it's a technique that's uh, more like a trials riding technique uh, but when it gets really super hardcore you want to be able to hop your wheels around <laughs> Definitely need to hop around with your back wheels a little bit to make these tight turns. Oh. 
The last technique that I want to explain today is a bit of an enduro technique when you want to go faster. Uh, they call it the Frenchie technique. It's basically you're making the turn bigger than it is. Let's say you come into a right turn, you go up the bank on the left side of the trail and start turning as you come down that bank and that makes the whole turn faster and you can uh, ride it with more speed. Yeah, without any problems. Try that out, racing style. <laughs> French line. Nice line, Fontana. Check it out, give it some uh, training. All these techniques, you know, um, you don't learn them from one day to the other. And, and keep in mind, you need to be able to control your bike at low speed. And you have to have patience sometimes when you get to this critical point where the turn, um, actually when you change directions inside the turn. So good luck and keep practicing.